Hey everyone, hope everyone is well. Back again with a collection update. This time we've got a few tiles from the Arrow Video sale, which is Camp Arrow Video. The new sale running all through summer. Picked up a few titles, some recent ones as well. They've just been put down on sale price, which I was glad to pick up. And some older titles that I've never got around to picking up before, but I've always wanted. Again, they have a bunch of titles really cheap, good prices, box sets for 25 quid for like, you know, upwards of six films. Like the Vincent Price box set, which I recommend picking up. Hopefully I'll be able to get a few more before the sale ends. It's, it ends on the 21st of July, so we've got a bit of time left. I got my um, post yesterday. Comes with like a nice little camp counselor kind of leaflets. It's got a map. So yeah, no, that's it's good. I do love Arrow, it's probably my favorite releasing company. The, the amount of effort they put in and the films they release from all genres is just amazing. But first up, got the Premonition. I've missed the horror, American Horror Project volume one box set when that first came out. I've got volume two, but I could never get the first one. And now it's gone out of print and the prices are pretty crazy. So I'm gonna have to get their titles separately, sadly, but this was only a fiver, so. And I don't know anything about these films. But it looks interesting. Special features. Again, I have no idea what this film's about, but that's a cool alternate artwork. But yeah, like I said, needed it for the collection, so I'm glad to have it. Next up is Pam Grey, Black Mama, White Mama. Again, you know, I haven't seen these films, so I can't recommend or give my personal opinion on them, but, you know, this looks a lot of fun. Pam Grey is a total badass, so you always get your money's worth with one of our films. But yeah, no, this looks like a lot of fun. I've been getting into a lot of um, black exploitation films. I've recently watched the Penitentiary series, and I thought they were all great. So um, yeah, no, I'm looking forward to this. Inglorious Bastards. That'd be a good one to pick up when that gets released. Another Pangra film, Sheba Baby. Again, you know, these were cheap. I want to build up my black exploitation collection. I've got a few films already, and there's a few more that are on my list of picking up, like F Foxy Brown, Friday Foster, JD's Revenge, Willie Dynamite. So, look forward to getting into these. And again, you know, Pam Gray can't go wrong. So yeah, looks a lot of fun. Next up, one that I'm really looking forward to, Madhouse. It's got some Italian contributions to this. I don't know if it was an Italian production or Italian director, but you know, anything with Italy, you can't go wrong when it comes to cult films. I love that cover as well with the Rottweiler, it seems to be. Always enjoyed that. But yeah, no, I don't know much about this, but from the cover, it kind of looks like a supernatural slasher, maybe. I'm not too sure. But again, this is the back. Looks a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to watching this. The original cover is good, but I do prefer the newly commissioned. Many people visit, few ever leave the madhouse. So yeah, no. Looking forward to that. And last but not least, Jose, Jose Larraza's Edge of the Axe. I've been wanting to get this for a little while. I missed out on the slip cover. It's limited to 500. And that pretty much sold straight away. So... 
I was happy to pick this up for a cheaper price. I mean, that cover art is stunning. Yeah, I've seen this artist pop up a few times. There are different covers for both Arrow and 88 films. I think he did the Intruder cover for 88 films. So definitely keep him. Great artworks. There's the original artwork. But again, I much prefer newly commissioned. But yeah, no, I'm glad to have this. We, I think it was last year or the year before we got the Jose Larraz box set with three of his earlier films. And then they've released Edge of the Axe and now Deadly Manor. So it's good to see that they're releasing a lot of this one director. All films that I want to pick up as well. But yeah, no, there's my recent pickup. Like I said, all for great prices. Definitely recommend checking the sale out. Like I said, it lasts till 21st of July, so you've got plenty of time. And um, yeah, no, go support them. But yeah, let me know in the comments below which films you have picked up or which films you are planning to pick up. Like I said, hopefully I'll make another purchase before the end of the sale. There's a few more titles that I want to get, some of the box sets like the Vincent Price or the Ring box set I'm interested in. This Satana box set looks good too. Um, and yeah, there's a few more single ties. They've got Deadly Manor on there for a tenner, which ain't too bad, considering it's just been released. Some of the black exploitation films. And yeah, a few more slashes. I want to get stuff like Trapped Alive. Good sale at the moment. But thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed and see you next time.